Oh my god, there's entirely too many video games coming out this week. What's up, what's up, everybody? We are going to do the same thing we do every Monday. We're going to take a look at the video games that are coming out this week on Steam and see if there's anything good or if it's all just a bunch of nonsense. Are you ready? No? Okay. I'll. Whenever you're ready, just let me know. Anytime you're ready. No, 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 you're, you're not You're not holding anyone up. Just you let me know when you're, okay, you're ready? You're ready now? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> let's take a look at the first game, The Ship Remastered. All right, uh, it, just, it just has information about the uh, land 16 players are limited online multiplayer, four players only right now. Please read our facts in the Steam discussion forums before you buy. So, uh, the ship, I actually know a little bit about the ship, I've never played it myself. What the ship is, is it is a, uh, it's an assassination game, it's a multiplayer assassination game. You're supposed to, I guess you're hired by the, uh, the owner of the ship to assassinate someone else on the ship, but you have to blend in so that no one notices that you're another player slash assassin. And apparently it's really good. So this is the ship remastered. Uh, it says release date February 22nd, 2016. Blazing Griffin. It's early access, but they already there. This is a this is just a remastered version, a redone version of the original game. So I can't really comment too much about the graphics as opposed to what they used to be, but I heard a lot of good things about this game. Apparently, it's really fun. Just going by. Just going by what I've heard from other people. So, if you like the original ship, you're probably excited for this. And if you haven't played the original ship, take a look at it on YouTube. I'm sure there's a bunch of different uh, gameplay videos. Um, actually, I think there's some gameplay videos from some of the bigger, uh, the bigger YouTube gamers too on the ship. So, coming up, uh, coming. Actually, what coming out? Hold on. What day is today? Oh, today. Out today. All right. We have Dead Effect 2. Dead Effect 2 is the newest addition to the acclaimed Dead Effect franchise. This action sci-fi shooter is looking to push the boundary of first-person shooters to new levels with slick graphics, rich narrative, RPG elements, and a cooperative multiplayer mode. Dead Effect. I was thinking, I was like, oh, I played this game, and then I'm like, no, that's Mass Effect. No. Have I played Dead Effect? I don't think so. Early access. Early access, but I guess they already made one, so... Probably... That doesn't look too bad. I'm not really a big fan of the... Zombies. Zandies! Hey, <laughs> shocking, I know. I'm like the only person that, uh... That is not a big fan of the Zambi games. Zambi games! Is that a laser? I thought uh, I thought that was a laser katana. No, just a regular katana. Lame. One out of ten. Regular katanas. Forget that. Uh, release date February twenty second. Ooh, look at these weapons. What is that? A like a bionic hatchet? Some kind of crazy hatchet thing? Pretty cool. Looks uh, looks pretty good. You improve your. Ca oh, look at all the. Oh, you look at those little booby pads. All right. So that effect two, February twenty second, early access. But it looks like. I mean, if they already made the first one, they probably know what they're doing, right? Super Night Riders, Suzuka Eight Hours. What? A modern arcade racing game inspired by the retro classics. <laughs> inspired by Suzuka Eight Hours, isn't it? That's the only one I really know of that sim is similar to this. But I haven't played every single racing game. It basically could just be a retro racing game. Just look up on eBay, Suzuka 8 Hours. We should do a video on that. We should do an actual eight hour Suzuka eight hours racing stream. I would never, I would never last. It's ridiculous. The only game that you could play for eight hours. One game, one game, eight hours. 
actual eight hour racing train. You can put it on like game time, which is like not eight hours, it's like 20 minutes or something like that. I don't remember exactly how long, but you could also play an actual eight hour match, which is insane. Uh, there's probably, there's probably a video on somewhere. Does YouTube even allow eight hour videos? I don't know, it's a good question. That's a good question. But, uh, release date February 22nd, Super Knight Riders. Astro Duel, we saw this, we saw this, we saw this. We're not looking at it again, we saw it last week. Talisman, the Horus Journey, Ho Horus Journey, Horus Heresy. Talisman, the Horus Heresy is a digital board game based on the Talisman rule system and set in the Warhammer 40K universe during the cataclysmic events of the Horus Heresy. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not like a 40k nerd, though. Damn me. Damn me. Unsubscribe! Unsubscribe! <laughs> Unsubscribe! So I don't really know too much of what I'm looking at, aside from the fact that it's a digital board game. Which is cool. Let's, let's look at some screenshots. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what I'm looking at, but if you know what you're looking at and you're excited Check out Talisman the Horus Heresy available February 22nd, which is Today unless you're watching this in the future IR face rig IR face rig enables you to embody awesome awesome digital avatars in real time IR face rig expression tracking is powered by Intel RealSense So it's just software it's not a game but if you, if you want help making creepy, what? Okay. Very nice. Not creepy at all. Okay. So just software. Right. What's next? Pointless. <laughs> No! They stole- they stole my idea! God damn it! <laughs> uh, Pointless is a game about destroying dots. Each dot you destroy add one point to, adds one point to your score. You can add your score to a global point pool and see how many dots have been destroyed globally. Rad. Kill me now. Oh god. Kill me now. This is a game. This is a game. Okay, this is a, this is a game. Wow. Pointless indeed. I can't say any more about this is release date February 2016. Doesn't have a I think it's like on here for February 22nd, but it doesn't say. So, yeah, that's I couldn't have summed it up better than what they already did. Chaos Tower. Chaos Tower, build and defend a physics-based action tower defense. Build a tower from a whole bunch of different parts and prove it against several natural forces like earthquakes, wind, and meteors. Uh, defend your tower against artificial enemies like robots, tanks, bomb birds, and many more. So it's like... Architecture Simulator. Kind of. Oh, this is your tower? Never mind. <laughs> No, it's got to be multiple different. Okay, there we go. Physics sandbox. <laughs> All right. Providing 15 minutes of fun. That could be fun. <gasps> what is that? Can you actually, can you do, uh... I guess you can just build it sideways and it turns into a racetrack. Alright, Chaos Tower, available February 23rd, 1979. One Upon Light. Explore the... The ruined remains of the Aurora Sciences Labs in a world where the rules of light and shadow no longer apply. Just stay out of the light. 
Well, then it would still apply. The rules would still apply. If you have to stay out of the light, the rules are still there. You can't have no rules and still be light. Lit up. I'm lit up cuz. Girl. Looks fun. Well, I mean. Looks cute. Cutie fun, funny cute. Yeah. Let's see some more screenshots. Cool beans. Available February 23rd, 2016. Uh, Tales of Maj Eyal. I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Embers of Rage. This content requires the base game Tales of Maj Eyal on Steam in order to play. Epic graphics. It's unfortunate. It, it, okay, it's unfortunate that some of these games have old school graphics, and some people love them. And things like I gotta bring Final Fantasy VII into this, don't I? The reason some newer players are not gonna appreciate things like this is because. They're so used to the graphics era where everything looks realistic and lifelike. So this might turn off a lot of people. It's got a lot going on though. All right, well, this is a DLC for Tales of Magial. Available February 23rd. Rock and roll defense. Rocked by an explosive soundtrack. Choose your band, place your equipments, and defend the rock and roll from everyone and everything who try to pull it down on a totally hardcore tower defense. Let's see it. Let's see it. Early access game. The game are... I'm going to try to translate this into actual English. The game are being developed by a team of only two peoples, one full-timer and one drawer animator in partial time. E, we need the maximum feedback, maximum feedback from the community. Well, at least their video game development skills are better than their speaking English skills. Then again, my speaking English skills are not that great either. I wonder where they're from. Oh, I guess they're from Portugal or Brazil. All right, rock and roll defense. <laughs> Don't be that guy. What do we not want to be that guy? All right, available February 23rd. What's next? Hitman, Hitman Go Definitive Edition. I never played Hitman Go, have I? Simple to play, but difficult to master. Turn-based strategy game set in a stunning interpretation of the Hitman universe. Squeenix, Montreal. Really? I never even saw this. So it's already out, but this is the definitive edition, I guess. Or is it not out, and this is the only one that's being sold? Turn-based strategy game, okay. So it's like a board game. Cool. Hitman board game. Did you stop doing that? Interesting. I was not, I did not know that this was even anything. All right, so that'll be, that'll be fun. Hitman Go Definitive Edition, February 23rd. The Walking Dead Michoni? Mikon? I don't know. A Telltale miniseries stars the iconic blade wielding character from Robert Kirkman's best selling comic books, haunted by her past and copying and coping with a ma. Un like I said, I'm just as good at speaking English. Uh, <laughs> coping with unimaginable loss and regret. The story explores 
Michonne's absence between issues 126 and 139 of the comic book. Like I previously said, I am not super into zombies, so I don't know who Michonne is. But here's some... Here's some screenshots. 223, February 23rd. Bridge constructor stunts. Stuntman and engineer in one. No problem with bridge constructor stunts. Build imposing ramps and loops to reach your goal in the diverse, in the yeah, in the diverse stages. But building structures alone isn't enough this time. You sit behind the wheel of vehicles yourself and have to manure them. Manure? You have to manure them. Maneuver them skillfully to the goal. Guys, you gotta you gotta manure these. So basically, construct things that are going to fall apart and go effing crazy. This could be fun. Share your videos with everyone, please, so we don't have to spend our money on advertising. <laughs> Bridge Constructor Stunts. Available February 23rd, 1959. Pixel Man is a retro styled. Pixel Man! Pixel Man is a retro styled, action filled, endless flyer, high score chaser where you control the title character in his mission to rescue the, civil the citizens of Pixville from the even. from the evil Baron Va. <laughs> <laughs> I am awesome at speaking! Baron Von Pixel and his contraptions. The citizens of Pixville are counting on you. Epic. It's the Pootie Pie game. Alright. Release date February 23rd, 1919. BC. Next one, Obliterators. Wow. Won some awards. Wardies. <gasps> Don't tell me this is like Mario Kart reimagined. Intergalactic party racing! Award winning same screen party racing for up to 16 players. Race brutal, cute aliens on exotic planets using weapon power ups and physics based vehicles to annihilate your competition in frantic round based combat. Connect spare game pads, laptops, and smart devices as extra controllers. That seems kind of wacky. I wonder how that works. These guys look awesome. I don't know how you're gonna play 16 player in on one machine. This looks awesome though. This looks so awesome. This is like Mario Kart. A billion. Epic. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Looks really cool. February 23rd. Stop doing that. Oh, okay. So it's just going back to the beginning anyway. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Looks exciting. Looks good. I don't know how they're going to do the 16 player multiplayer though. Reagan Gorbachev. Political game? Maybe. The year is 1986. No way. I didn't know that. I thought it was like 2016. What is wrong with me? The year is 1986. Cold War leaders Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev have been kidnapped by militant extremists. Once rivals, now they must cooperate. Co cooperate. Cooperate or die. Sneak, slash, or shoot your way through a an army of mercenaries. Save the world from nuclear Armageddon. What kind of person makes this game? And why are we not friends in real life? I approve of this. I approve of this game. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Yeah, that's what Ron yeah, Ronald Reagan would do that. Yep.
Nothing like a 2D pixel art Ronald Reagan with the samurai sword. Available February 24th, 2016. I'm sure it's ridiculous. Okay, comics play number one, The Endless Incident. Comics Play The Endless Incident is a 124-page digital graphic novel where you can play the heroes in turn-based combat. What? What? That looks pretty good. Pretty good. I wonder how they, if it's a comic book, I wonder how the story is. Is it amazing? Is it? I don't know. Why are you asking me? Battle Station Harbinger. Battle Station Harbinger is a hard sci-fi. Oh, that one is February 24th as well. Battle Station Harbinger is a hard sci-fi space exploration game blending roguelike turn-based star map strategy and real-time strawberries. You are a young commander given the task to venture out into enemy territories far away from home to unknown galaxies never knowing what you will face. As you something, 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 but it cut off. Battle Station Harbinger. Epic Space Journey. Ooh, tell us more, Capitan. That was gonna be a long video, okay. Lots of space st strategical strategies of strateginess. All right, Bill 24th of February, The Kindred. Welcome to the Kindred, a creative sandbox game set in a vibrant voxel world. Build, craft, and farm your way towards civilization as you help the kin to survive and thrive. Early access game. Core gameplay in place. We are ready to develop and implement more complex features. With your help, spend money, give us money. Let's see. Let's go back to the video and let's just skip ahead. Okay. Right. Righto. The, uh, there's a lot of these. There's, I think there's too many games trying to capitalize on the concept of Minecraft being like, oh, we could just do like all kind of super blocky voxel art and be super successful. And they, Minecraft was Minecraft. I don't think we're gonna have another, like, Minecraft that copies Minecraft that's, like, the new Minecraft. I think it's just Minecraft was it, and GG. And GG, boys. Minecraft is Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, it's not gonna be, like, it's not that, like, the other, other games can't be, like, this can't be successful, but it's not gonna be, there's not gonna be a second Minecraft. Unless it's, like, the next actual Minecraft. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right. Release date February 24th. This guy a PC. Oh, what is this? In this strategy RPG, try, I mean, I know what this guy is, but in this strategy RPG, train your characters to level 9,999 and deal damage by the millions in this wacky netherworld that is this guy. Help Laharl become the overlord by fighting complex battles that not only include spells and weapons, but also the unique geo panel and lift and throw systems. In Disgaea, there, In Disgaea, are, no there are no limits. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. I wanted to play the last one that came out. The last is Gaia game. Uh, isn't that a little so what is this like giving you dev tools? Sexy beam! Ooh! Sexy beam! Fire 
Who is casting spells? No, Bulletstorm is not as good as the sexy thing. Dragons casting here. Dragons casting here. This is ridiculous as it seems. Baseball! Yes. Alright. Let's check out some more screeny shots. I think you got I think some of you guys might be uh and ladies. Might be uh might be interested in this guy. If you have not played, check out the whole series actually. Because I think that might be something some of you might be interested in. All right, available February 24th. The other ones, the, the other Disgaea games uh, looked a little bit more interesting in that one. But I'm saying check out the, check out the series. All right, check out the series. Heart, Gates of Hell, hard-boiled detail campaigns portray the staggering war-torn ambient and the devastation of WW2, offering arcade and realistic settings aimed for both the beginners and the hardened veterans, then face off real players in massive online battles. Alright, let's check out some screenshots. Early access game. <sighs> Hmm, okay. Ote. Release date Q1, but it looks like it's pro it's on the list between the 24th and 25th, I think, so. So, yes, Gates of Hell. Tw oh, 24th, sorry. Blood Alloy Reborn. Become a hyper agile cybernetic machine of robot death. In an ultra fast 2D acrobatic shooter slasher, boost, slice, and shoot your weight at the top of the score ranking in Blood Alloy Reborn, rendered in glorious cyberpunk pixels upon a pulsing synthwave soundtrack. Release date February 24th, 2016. This might be good. Might be pretty good. I already love the soundtrack. I already giving the soundtrack its ten. I love and I love cyberpunk stuff anyway. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm easy to please. Akaratus. Akaratus. Akaratus is a turn-based tactical RPG set in a medieval steampunk world where you build and fight with your mechanized battle suits to help Adina free the enslaved people by the oppressing Emperor Helios. Randomly generated paths. Random encounters. Is this strategy RPG? Oh, it, it, it already said tactical RPG. Ooh, customized battle suits. Ooh. Yes, please. Ooh, yeah. All right, so I looked at the logo and I was like, eh, Akaratus is probably some stupid game. This actually looks pretty fun. I want to see more. I want to see more gameplay. Show me gameplay. Show me gameplay! Yeah! Okay. <coughs> I'm dying now. <coughs> Diabetes. Um. <laughs> this looks good though. Akaratus. Let's check out some more screenshots. Yeah, after I started seeing some of it in game I like it I like it early access game balancing is a key need the players to help do real testing and giving us feedback in multiplayer skirmish that's a good reason for it to be early access 
trying to get the game balanced better. I, it looks like someone competent actually made this game. Even though it's early access, it looks like people that actually know how to make video games made it. <gasps> Imagine that. X Rebirth, Home of Light. Uh, this content requires the base game X Rebirth in order to play. This is just DLC for X Rebirth, which I know nothing about. I'm assuming, hold on, I'm assuming it's a space game. I'm assuming that. I like space stations. Why don't we have more space stations? Why? Oh, we don't live in outer space, right? Okay. <clears throat> anyway, Portal Knights next game. Early access game. Everything is early access. Every game is early access. No one finishes games. Oh. <gasps> Leave the familiar world behind and step into the fantastic unknown with Portal Knights. Play with yourself in this action. Oh no, play with your friends. Play with your friends in this action packed. You can play with yourself too. I mean, like, whatever. Uh, in this action packed crafting adventure across whimsical 3D sandbox worlds, craft your adventure, forge your hero, become the ultimate Portal Knight. Was that a fat dragon? Hold on, Fat Dragon! Ninja... Uh-oh. Like I was saying about the Minecraft. This one isn't trying to be voxel-based, though. It just has crafting in it. Hmm... Journey to Unknown Lands. See, this looks cool. After I basically trashed the other game, I didn't trash the other game. I did not trash it. Stop saying I trashed it. I'm a bunny rabbit today. If you didn't know, so oh, can you not tell me this does not look cool? Uh, so many, so many double negatives. Can you not tell me this does not look cool? Portal Knights, February 25th, early access game, sandbox game, so it's, uh, open development. <gasps> Look at that dragon! Look at that dragon! Look at that guy! I know that guy. That guy hangs out, like, by the, uh, the grocery store, asking me for money all the time. I like, I, this looks good to me. This, to me, this looks good. Okay. Portal Knights, February 25th. Look at that dragon! Alright. Sprinter, run through this compelling action game with minimalist art style and maximum story. Available February 25th. Uh, what I was gonna say is this like a s minimalist stealth game, but no, because you're just running through their line of sight anyway. So it's a minimalist runner game. Emily will run. I'm trying so hard to understand the story. Emily will run. She likes to run. Emily's trying out for the cross country team. Lyle will. Oh, now Lyle is trying out for cross country. Kyle, you should try it for the swim team. I mean, you don't want to have to compete against Emily, because then you guys can't hook up, because she'll be all mad at you, because you're, like, competing against her. I mean, really. It's not smart. It's not smart. Not smart, Kyle. What is this? Hold, double, double K, and release. Okay, so Sprinter, release date February 24th. These are supposed to be in chronological order. What is this nonsense? Total War, uh, Tila, 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 Tila. <laughs> Uh, Slavic Nations. We... didn't we do this? We saw this in another week, didn't we? I think we did. I thought we did. I feel like we did. Uh, it's a Total War Attila expansion. DLC. 
right, February 25th. It's not a plane. Heaven's a Hope Special Edition. Think. Heaven's Hope is a cleverly it's funny point-and-click adventure. Oh, point-and-click, I gotta play those. I'm so good at those. Angel Taloral has fallen from heaven and crash-landed in the small town of Heaven's Hope, embarking on a fun adventure with some new and unlikely companions. Taloral tries to get back home. Will you help him? to fight the Inquisition that rules with a tight grip. And solve Is this a re-release? And stunning riddles in order to find him way back to heaven. Packed Is this an initial release or a re-release of something that's already been out? And almost 35 hand-drawn screens to explore. Heaven's hope is a 35 hand-drawn screens. 35 screens in the entire game? Is only 35 screens? Okay, maybe this has already been out. Maybe it has already been out. Looks like it might have been. Okay, February 25th. Factorio! Uh, this, every week it's so long. Even two minutes per game and it's still <laughs> like an hour long video. They release so many games and they never finish them. Factorio is a game about building and creating automated factories to produce items of increasing complexity within an, in, within an infinite 2D world. Use your imagination to design your factory, combine simple elements into ingenious structures, and finally protect it from the creatures who don't really like you. SimCity meets a factory sim. Sim Factory, okay. Early access game. Um... We've been working on Factorio for four years. The game is very stable and highly optimized for prolonged gameplay and creating huge factories. Good. Good. That's a good. That's a good description for an early access game. I like that. We've been <laughs> we've been doing it for four years and it's completely stable. Good. Well, very stable. Very stable. Not completely stable. This is very stable. But I like that. I like when it's early access. Like we've been working on it for four years though. All right. Ooh, you got little goblin butts? What is this? Ooh, cockroaches? What are those creepy animals? Factorio! Alright. Available February 25th. So you have to build and defend factories. Okay. Lost Bros. Oh god. Okay, in Lost Bros, simultaneously control three. What the? F control three independent characters as they travel through time to save their kidnapped friend. Gunmen, shieldmen, and swordmen must cooperate with unique abilities to solve puzzles and fight bad guys. Action adventure indie. There's a lot of purple penises coming out of that lake. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Interesting. Lost Bros. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. All right, Lost Bros, available to February 25th. February 25th, Life in Bunker. You've been elected as the new Bunker Warden. Congratulations. Now you must take control of a group of fellow Bunker residents and try to make them last until the surface becomes habitable. It's like a simulation game? I'm looking at the screenshots. Looks like a simulation game. L oh! Yeah. I would pr I would probably like this game. I don't know why, but this looks like something I would like. And I'm disappointed in myself for saying that. <laughs> I would probably get too into this. I'd probably be like, no, no, because the grinding RPG element. I'm like, no, I have to make the bunker better. I have to build a bunker. Yeah, this is probably something that I would get too involved with. And like, play it for 16 hours at a time. Unfortunately. I'm not crazy about these character models, but... 
seems like something. Seems like something that I would not want to, not want to get addicted to, but get a little bit addicted and be like, okay. But after a week, I'd be like, I'm done. But oh, tadpole trap. We we saw this. We saw this like two weeks ago. Age of Gladiators. Age of Gladiators is a single-player strategy management sim that sets the height of. We saw this too. We saw this too. We already saw this a couple weeks ago. Perfect universe. Play with gra oh, that art style though. Is so cute. Play with gravity in a selection of nine gravitational-based games that range from platforming, volleyball, racing, dodgeball to guiding Mr. Legs, an alien being with a bizarre and challenging control scheme. So it's just dick around with gravity. The game. All right, then it's cute. It's it's you know what? It's cute, but it's really not that hard to do. This it's just a it's just a shader. <sighs> it's a shader that makes it cute. Stop thinking it's cute. Okay. It's just a it's a tinker around video game. And that is February 25th. Color Chemistry! Color Chemistry is an abstract color mixing puzzle game. There's a lot of puzzle games. The mechanics of the game is based on the modern theory of color. Do you know how to mix colors together? Well, you can get to end game in here. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. Or is it? Available February 25th. 2000... 2000, 2000. That's my, that's my dance moves for this game. Quintesson is an innovative puzzle shooter that takes various elements from many classic and less known games and puts them together in a hectic arcade mix, all in retro visuals and synthetic sonorities that we call the revered Commodore 64's SID chip. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at, but Quintesson is available July 12th, 2013. What? Available hopefully by the end of it. You start you this was supposed to be released in 2013 and it's still not done. And this is what it forget this game. Get salty, Jew Bagel! Get salty! Get salty! Oh my god! Get salty! Alright, Dianic. What was I even doing? I don't know, I think it was a seizure. D Ooh, we got some Asian-y stuff going on. Two players steal an ancient and priceless relic, awakening an ominous presence deep beneath the earth, and sending them tumbling into long-forgotten ruins. 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 You must both work together to escape, yet you both want to be the one with the relic in the end. So, will you two be friends or foes? Ooh, dastardly puzzles. Not deadly, but dastardly. Hmm. All right. Release date February 26th. Are you two like aliens? Two players, still an ancient. So it's single player or co-op. All right, 26th, February. We are the dwarves. Opposite to the universe we know, everything is inverted. The void is replaced by an endless stone where life exists only in gigantic caves enlightened by bright stars. Take control of three dwarven astronauts navigating the unknown in We Are the Dwarves, an action-based tactical adventure. We- Okay. Okay. Dude, this looks actually cool. This looks actually cool. Oh, wow. In a dangerous new world. We will fight.
this looks badass. It looks re it looks very beautiful, but it looks like it's a fun game too. And it's actually a game. We are the dwarves. Oh, please, yes. Thank God. <laughs> All right. This looks like a good game. This looks like a good game. Ooh, that's that's one to look out for. I want to mess up the video for one second. Yeah. All right. <gasps> $15! The release price is $15. I had to look at the price. Yeah. Might be something to pick up for 15 bucks. Space Jack, a super fast paced arcade tower defense. Build turrets and shoot your way through hordes of alien scum as you protect multiple rooms simultaneously. Protect your spaceship. Action Adventure Indie Tower Defense. Defend multiple arenas. All right. It is. It's definitely very uh, 2D pixel art. Could be good though. Could be good. Space Jacked, February 26th. Stardew Valley. Doo Doo Valley is more like it. You've inherited your grandfather's old farm. I don't know if it has. Uh, you've inherited your grandfather's old farm plot in Stardew Valley. Armed with hand-me-down tools and a few coins, you set out to begin your new life. Can you learn to live off the land and turn these overgrown fields into a thriving home? Don't tell me this is like. It's like um. It's like. <laughs> Call of Duty. Yeah, just like Call of Duty. Just like, yeah, this looks exactly like Call of Duty, guys. Exactly like Call of Duty. No, um, Harvest Moon. Another Harvest Moon. There was one a couple weeks ago that looked like Harvest Moon that looked pretty good, too. Farmville. <laughs> Harvest Moon Farmville. Oh, it does look like Harvest Moon. I hope this game does good. This, this looks, uh, looks pretty cool. I want to play, and you know what I've been actually feeling the urge to play a game like one of these. I really have. Or I could just go and go on eBay and buy the original Harvest Moon. But these games need money too. These these games need funding. So. So yes. Plus you can't trust the US Postal Service to actually deliver things anymore. Uh, so it'll get here in 2017. So... Oh, and there's a train! You gotta get this game. There's a train. This actually looks... Looks pretty cute. Stardew Valley. Release date February 26th. That's not my actual birthday, guys. I'm just putting in a random date. It's just a random date I put in once. I am not like... When 1966? How old would I have to be? I would have to be... Hold on, 49? 50. 49 or 50. Something like that. I don't remember what it, I don't remember what the month it said, so... The Town of Light. 12 March 1938. Renee, 16, was ripped out of her world only... Her only fault was that... Was... <clears throat> Take two. 12 March 1938. Renee 16 was ripped out of her world. Her only fault was that not. <laughs> Take three. Her only fault was that of not knowing her place in the world. Oh, I finally did it. Oh, I finally did it. The Town of Light. What is this? What is this game? I don't know what this is. What is this game? Psychological atmospheric indie game. What in balls name is? Okay. 
So it's entirely story. Ooh, win a couple of awards might be good then. Usually games that are win awards are not bad. Usually. I'm Michael Dorn, and I'm narrating. Uh, and that was uh, February 26th. What is this, Master of Orion? Did we see this? Did we see this? No, I don't think we saw this. I'm Michael Dorn, and I'm narrating Master of Orion. Wait, who is he? <gasps> if Luke Skywalker plays the game, I need to play the game. Early access. Master of Ryan is first and foremost a passion project for us. It is very... Luke Skywalker! Very important that we create a worthy successor. We feel early access is a critical step. There's another... Oh, Conquer the Stars. Master of Ryan Conquer the Stars? Wait, was the first guy Worf? I, I kind of, I half missed that. I was half paying attention. Let's see some more gameplay. Who's Dwight Schultz? Who are you, Dwight Schultz? Hold on, who are you? Oh, Star Trek, okay. There's a lot of really famous vo uh, voice actors. Wow. So I'm sure if you love space game, I mean the visually this game is very pretty too. Wow, so this is gonna be a good space game. Okay, I haven't played the other Masters of Orion though. But I guess this would be one to look at if you're looking for, uh, if you're looking into space games, if you really love space stuff. The Ascendant Spacefaring 4X Strategy Game Returns, a new chapter... Yeah, I've never played the original one. A new chapter in the Epic Master of Ryan Saga is poised to once again capture the imaginations of millions of gamers. Will you be one of them? That, I mean, it, it looks good. I never... I don't consider myself a sci-fi guy, but if it's good... If it's good, I like it. So we have... Lee Eat, a world where dragons born from the wishes of man ooh, each have a unique power to match their human's desires. One mysterious stranger travels with a young dragon graced with the talent of seeing and eating lies. What? Together they seek information for profit and knowledge. In this Game Boy Advance title. If I were a dragon, would you know why I was born? Twenty sixth of February. This could this looks like I mean like okay. It looks like first off, it looks like it should be for Game Boy Advance. I don't know why you guys can't see. I'm like doing this, I'm like I'm Donald Trump. I'm Donald Trumping it today. You fired. Um It looks good though. Man, if this was for Game Boy Advance, it would do phenomenal. Phenomenal. I don't want to play games like with this graphics on my PC though, just because I feel like I feel like if I spent the money for the PC, I want to play the good the good graphics games on the PC. But then again, I also want to play games like this on little tablet devices. Cause then I really enjoy that art style. I'm not saying I don't enjoy the art style, I'm saying I do. I'm just saying that I like to see them on little screens. Little baby screens. Screens as big as my wiener. <clears throat> Era. An Era is an RTS real-time strategy game with elements of RPG. In Era, you can manage people in order to build your own city. Short and sweet. Early access game. Of course. We should just kept, we should just assume every game is early access until one says like that it's actually finished. <laughs> Very complex game, we really want to give you an excellent final product, that's why we're giving it to you early and not finished, gotcha. Uh, best way to get feedback, yeah. I like the ones where it's like, 
this game is done. We're doing it early access just in case we messed anything up and we need to change and fix and balance things. Although there's a lot of other games that are released, AAA games, that really should be labeled as early access that are not. And they're like, oh yeah, the game's coming out in chunks. No, bitch, you just charged me $60 for it. What do you mean it's coming out in chunks? I'll give you a chunk. Give me a game in chunks. Get the hell out of here. Era, February 26th, 2016. Oh my god, this is almost an hour long. Racecraft, we saw this, we saw this, we saw this. Take the dream, nine. What would you do for the person you love? Are you sure that you're actually in love with them? They say love is all about sacrifice. What are you willing to lose for the... Did we see this? What are you willing to lose for the one you supposedly love? I think we saw this. We saw this last week. All right. Yeah, we saw this a different week. What's fun this week? What, what did we see that's like epic and amazing? Stardew Valley looked cool. We are the dwarves. I think this is the most exciting one of the week. I think so. I think so, because I this is like looks really good and it's out of nowhere. Or at least I, I haven't heard of it yet. So, all right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're excited for some of the games coming out this week. Stay tuned this week, because the rest of the week, I'm just gonna be making videos where I eat chicken nuggets all week, every single day. Two videos a day, no. Three videos a day, just eating chicken nuggets. Stay tuned. As always, I will see you in the next video where I'm eating chicken nuggets. Peace out, you bitches.